In this video, we look at the tree and binary tree data structure. A tree is a fundamental data structure used in many areas of computer science. It consists of nodes and pointers. While trees don't require a root, the exam board only require you to know about rooted trees. You should therefore consider each tree as having a root node. A rooted tree is simply a tree in which one vertex or node has been designated as the root. Unlike an actual tree, when we visualize a tree data structure, the root is typically at the top. The root connects to zero, one or more child nodes. Nodes at the very bottom of the tree can be called leaf nodes. Nodes are connected via pointers, also known as edges. A set of nodes and edges from any single node down through all its descendants is known as a subtree. So what are the applications of a tree? Typical uses for rooted trees like this include storing and managing files and folder structures. Implementations of the A-star pathfinding algorithm. Storing and manipulating any form of hierarchical data that require a parent node to have zero, one or more child nodes, for example, a corporate hierarchy structure. So what's a binary tree then? Well, a binary tree is like a standard rooted tree data structure, consisting again of nodes and pointers. But with a binary tree, each node can only have zero, one, or two pointers, with each pointer connecting to a different node. Since a binary tree is essentially a graph, nodes and pointers can also be described as vertices and edges. Binary trees can be represented in memory with dictionaries, as shown here. Binary trees can be stored as arrays. Notice how the left or right pointer is set to null if there is no child node. It is more common to see binary trees represented as objects, nodes with a left and right pointer. Again, the left or right pointer is set to null if there is no child node. So what are the applications of a binary tree? Well, binary trees have many uses in computer science. Database applications where efficient searching and sorting is required without moving items, which is slow. Wireless networking and router tables. Operating systems scheduling and processing. Huffman coding using compression algorithms like JPEG or MP3. Cryptography such as GMM trees. So what operations can be performed on a tree? We've got add, adds a new node to the tree. Delete, removes a node from a tree. Binary search, returns the data stored in a node. Pre-order. In order and post order traversal, these are a type of depth first search and a breadth first search. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions What is a rooted tree? And what is the difference between a rooted tree and binary tree? Dave and I know that data structures and algorithms are one of the hardest areas of the course, and we've therefore written a dedicated book which is available to purchase on Amazon. The book covers all the data structures and algorithms you need to be aware of for the exam. Each one has its own dedicated chapter. The chapter overviews the data structure or algorithm, gives you applications, operations, links to our videos online, and goes over the algorithm in simple structured English a visualization, pseudocode, and is fully coded in Python, C Sharp, and Visual Basic.